What's happening guys? I'm coming through the NARP video. Um, I'm going to answer the question in this topic. Um, can narcissists be vulnerable? And the truth is, no. <laughs> no, they can't. They can be fake, vulnerable. They can, they can do these things in front of your face. Maybe over a phone call, over a text. They can fake vulnerability. They can fake being the victim. They can fake their emotions to make you believe that they are real and that they are vulnerable, but really they are not at all. And they're doing this so they can take advantage of you to make you feel bad for them for whatever reason that they want you to do this it's unknown but this has happened to me with people um, and honestly I could see through it and obviously I didn't call them out right in the time but I could sense it and I also seen the fakest thing that I've ever seen in my life right afterwards whenever some of these things happened. And sometimes I didn't, but sometimes I did. And it's like, they could be crying one second. And then if other people come into the picture, let's say if this is happening in person, they're being vulnerable, they might be crying to you. Let's say if somebody else shows up, they instantly stop and they become a different person. This just goes to show how fake they really are and that the tears that they do cry are crocodile tears. It's not real. It's fake and they can do this. They can play it off to take advantage of you for whatever reason. Um, Narcissists have a very hard time showing real vulnerability. I don't think it's impossible, but it's very highly unlikely that they do this and that they're actually a real person and say what they mean and mean what they say. So <clears throat> that is the truth about that. Um, from what I got to say to you guys about this is don't fall for this see it for what it is because they will take advantage of you and you're going to get pissed off whenever you come to the realization that you got fooled and that this was a joke the whole time so you do not want to get fooled by a covert narc because you will get pissed you feel stupid it's how it makes you feel like how could this person trick me or fool me into this and, and you get mad at yourself almost. So it's important to see this shit for what it is. It's important to see the signs and to not just believe what every single person shows you in front of your own face or over a phone. Most, most importantly, because even salt looks like sugar, right? Even salt looks like sugar. You can be fooled. Just because somebody is crying in your face doesn't mean shit. Some of the time it does, some of the time it doesn't. You have to know that for what it is. You have to see through it. And if you don't, like I said, you're gonna get pissed. You're gonna get pissed. Real pissed at yourself, real pissed at this person. It might make you a little bit better for a bit. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. Um, there are some situations that I was involved in that didn't even have anything to do with uh, vulnerability. But just in general, with an arc in the past, that made me at least a little bit bitter, for sure. Um, it puts a chip on your shoulder. And you go about your day. But... 
I, I have had a chip on my shoulder for a while in the past after certain things happened. That's because I was pissed. That's because I knew exactly what happened and I was not happy about it at all. Um, it's normal to feel that. It's normal to feel those emotions. And it makes you never want to look at that person ever again. It makes you never want to forgive that person. But a part of you has to. A part of you has to just not have that anger towards them. You don't have to forgive them in a way we're going to give them another chance. Or do anything for them. Just forgive the fact. It's, it's more forgiveness towards yourself to be honest. Um... Because if you don't, it, it, it just will keep you bitter. And you don't want to live your life like that because it's going to affect other things for yourself. It could affect the people around you. Uh, that's why whenever I was bitter, I did not surround myself with anybody at all. I just went off and did my own thing, worked my ass off. If people got in my way, there was a few times there was some... Words that was definitely said between me and some people, but it was what it was because some people like to push you too. So, some words be said, things happen. You can piss people off. I don't regret any of it. Um, because it was what it was. It's not like you're going around instigating shit. It's more so other people being smart asses, pushing your buttons a little bit. But then when you step up, they, they back down and tuck their tail between their legs because that's who they really are. And they think they're wise by saying certain things. But when they do it, they end up backing down because you come at them in the most real, authentic way possible. You don't take shit from nobody. So, it's not your fault. I'm not an instigator type of guy. I'm just a real guy. And I sell things. And how I feel in that moment is what's going to happen. There's no other way around it. Um, if somebody does something to me, I will deal with that situation the best way that I can by causing the least amount of trouble and something might just happen. It depends what happens from the other person's side. I give people what they deserve. That's what I give people. If you're nice to me, you deserve to be treated nicely in return and quite possibly even nicer. Whenever people are nice to me, usually I am even more nicer to them because I appreciate it so much. If people want to push my buttons, if people want to say some shit, get under my skin, I might go to a whole other extent to push their buttons or to piss them off or to do something because that's just how I go about things. They're going to know it. And even whenever I get fooled by narcissists, I might retaliate by doing something to fool them. Mess with them a little bit. I don't see nothing wrong with that. If somebody is willing to do this shit to you, don't go out of your way and waste your time, but like you can do something pretty quick to just sort of mess with them back. I've done that before. Like, I'm just not a guy you want to fuck around with in this type of a way because I take shit serious and it is what it is. You get what you goddamn deserve from me. And I can even have a laugh about it too. You know? But anyways, guys. Um, if these people want to do these things, fake vulnerability, be, it, be a fake person to you, to use you, to take advantage of you, to get something out of you that they want selfishly without giving nothing back in return, 
They want to waste your goddamn time. They want to do all this bullshit. Give them what they deserve back. Trick them right quick. Fool them right quick. Cut them off completely. Don't mess with them at all. Because completely removing them from your life is the best method that you can do. And this is the method I've been using for years as of right now. Whenever I was talking to you guys about this stuff that I was doing, this was like in my earlier stages of narc abuse when I still had a small understanding I'd retaliate and do some shit like this and really get people back. I more so do not do this today. It depends what it is, but if we're talking about if somebody calls me out in person or something like this to tries to one-up me or something, that would be the worst mistake anybody could make. But like, when it comes to other things, I just let a lot of shit slide. Nowadays, um, nothing has really happened to me because for, for a while when it comes to altercations, because people know. People know what's real. <clears throat> so. But like I said, if you're dealing with anything if people are trying to be fake to you to try to win over on you to try to get something out of you by being a fake person show them how it's done show them what it is um, play with them or cut them off whatever you want to do it depends on the situation in my opinion because um, sometimes it feels goddamn good to just give these people a taste of their own medicine like I made a video it honestly does feel good sometimes um, but if you don't want to waste your time at all, because this is the exact same thing as getting them back, is completely cutting off contact. So they cannot run their games anymore. They have to do it to somebody else. And they will do it to somebody else. Just don't let that somebody else be you. Don't let that continue to be you. You know? But anyways, guys, that's the video. And... I'm going to get on out of here and get this second video done, so I will be back.